What's up guys, welcome back. It's been a couple weeks, been so busy. So anyway, let's get into the video. Today we're making the Brockhampton title that they use in a lot of their old videos where they like transitioned a gradient from black and white to color. And then it was like 3D, but it was kind of faked in the fact that it was a, a shaded tool in Illustrator. So we're gonna be creating that basically. And just like to say, I'm super happy today. I basically passed my driving test first time with only three minors. And just to prove it, I've got this. Skrrr! Anyway, let's get back into the video. Let's dive in. So this is what we're gonna be creating today. So as you can see, there's simple nice text, and there's some grain, and then there's the text at the bottom, just to clarify who they are, etc. So first, let's go into Illustrator, and firstly, this is what I've already got, so this is what we're going to recreate in. So you want to go to the text tool, and create your text. Now the text you'll be using is Helvetica New. So let's create a bit of bigger text, let's make this Helvetica New black. And then we want to change the size up to something like a hundred so there we go get nice and big you want it to nice stand out now once you've done that we want to duplicate this layer by command command c and command v or control on a pc so you want three copies of this you want to put one to the left and then one down in the corner and now what you want to do is color each one so we'll grab our colors i'm going to choose a gold for the top And then the middle one we want to make blue. And then the bottom one we want a green. Now the reason I chose the word boogie is because I'm in such a good mood. You know, I've passed my test first time. I need to boogie. Right, now that once we've got the words, what we want to do is select them all, double click on the blend tool, go to specified steps and change it to 100 and then click OK. And now what you want to do is click on the layers. So start with the top then select the middle and select the bottom there it is already created now it's created it in back to front so we're going to want to um we're going to want to change the colors around a bit because we don't want gold on the bottom but if you grab the uh selection tool which or a on the keyboard you can move the points so we'll move that in the right position so we want to move that down to the bottom realistically and then move boogie up to the top the green one and there we go, it's starting to form. So we're going to want to change the colours now though. Unless you like that, you can keep it like that. So move that a little bit, give it some depth. Create that really nice 3D effect. Now let's change the colours. And there we go, we've got our boogie text. Looking pretty good. Now what you want to do is select all three of these layers. Right click and then click collect for export as single asset. And then click the asset, rename it to something. And then you want to have a scale of three, because that way it will make sure it was nice and large. And then click on the layer, and then click export, and choose the folder you wish to export to. And then when you click choose, it should export. Now we want to move into After Effects, not After Effects. Now we want to move to Premiere. You could use After Effects, but I'm going to use Premiere just for the sake of speed. So we want to create a new sequence. Uh, we want to call this Boogie. Now once you've got your sequence, we're going to zoom in. As it's an intro, we only want it to be like six seconds. So now let's import our exported image. So let's import that. And then drag that onto the timeline. Now I've timed it. The first is black and white and then it's three seconds. And then the second half is in color, which is three seconds. So let's change the timing of that to, number, to three seconds. So there we go, change it to 3 seconds and then duplicate by alt clicking and dragging. Now we have both our layers, now go to effects and then type in cross and then add in the dissolve which says cross dissolve and add that into the center. Now you can keep that as is, it's a nice little transition but now we need to create this black and white so type in black and then go down to the bottom and apply image control black and white and now as you'll see you get the fade from black and white to black color. But that's not complete. We now need to add in the noise. So if you search for noise, 
go down, add in noise, apply that, and then we want an amount of 10. You could add more if you wanted to, but I'm going to use 10 for now. So once we've got that, that's the effect practically almost done. Now it's just adding in the lower thirds or the text at the bottom. We want the little intro, so we want to cross dissolve it. So we want to go to about 10 frames and bring that cross dissolve down. And then we've got the little, little quick, you know, fade in. Right now, we want to now add in text. So click the text tool and then click somewhere on your time on your uh, screen and then type in your name or whatever you want to type in. I'm going to put in my name, K McGinley, and then change the type to like, I don't know, you can either keep it that size or maybe about 34, I reckon. So move it into position, make sure it's in line with the text, the left side. Now we want to alt click and drag, drag up the layer. So we've duplicated it. And then we want to move that across to the right. So move it over to the right. And then we want to align that to the right because we're going to be typing in the right and we don't want to keep having to adjust every time we type. And then what I'm going to type in is today's date, 16th of the 8th, 16th of the 6th, 2018. And then I think I'm going to put the words past just to really, to really like emphasize the fact that I just passed, you know? So there we go. Change that down to about 20, I think. 25, yeah, it's just a little bit smaller than the left side. Now we just need to add in the cross dissolves to both the text layers so that it's all simultaneously comes on together. So add them in both, go to 10 frames, cut them together, and there we have it. That's Brockhampton's intro text that has been used on quite a lot of their videos and is actually quite a nice effect. It's really simple as well, it's surprising what you can do with simple effects like you know just using a bit of illustrator and then taking it into premiere you can create some really nice effects anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you did because i'll be releasing more videos whenever they come usually weekly but sometimes i'm busy so i can't always help that and i do have some videos still to come that some of you guys have actually requested i have a, a color grading tutorial for fear the walking dead which i want to get done this weekend so just keep keeps keep keeps so subscribe and push that bell icon and i'll see you in the next video peace